Shelley, and I'm an EEG tech at Seattle Children's Hospital. Do you know what an EEG stands for? It stands for electroencephalogram. An EEG is a type of a medical test that records the brain's electrical activity. This activity is sometimes referred to as brain waves or patterns. We record this data using small metal discs that we will place on the outside of your head. Getting an outpatient EEG here at Seattle Children's takes about an hour and a half recording, hookup, and cleanup. It's a painless procedure that requires just a bit of cooperation and patience. There are no needles or pain involved in an EEG. The worst part of it is that you're going to need to have your hair washed and we'll take everything off with warm water before you leave. So let's talk about your EEG. We'll start at the beginning. You may receive instructions prior to your visit to sleep less the night before and wake up early. This is so you can get to sleep during the actual EEG itself. You remember, sleep is an important part of our recording. When you arrive at Children's, get your visitor's badge and then head to check in for your EEG. Once checked in, my name is Nick. I'll be working for you today. An EEG tech will meet you in the waiting area and walk you back to the lab. So your big job, Annabelle, this EEG, you just get to lay on the bed and relax. This is where we will record your EEG. We only have the patient and one parent or guardian in the lab at a time. So choose who you would like to have with you and let's get started and let both you and mom or dad get settled for the EEG. It is important that you lay down on the bed, on your back, through the entire hookup, which may take up to 20 minutes or more. The actual EEG will run for 40 minutes. We want you to be still and relaxed for the whole test. Remember, EEGs require a little patience and cooperation. To start, the tech will measure and mark your head with a washable marker. These spots are where our electrodes will be placed. The tech may ask you to turn your head from side to side so that all the marks go in the correct places. Next, each of those marks needs to be cleaned off using a mild scratchy soap. We do this so that we can have a nice clear recording. In other words, to collect just the information we want to collect. After your technologist has finished prepping all of the marks, they will apply the electrodes. To do this, we use a sticky salt-based paste that does two things. First, it is conductive. This means that it helps the electrodes record the signals from your brain. And second, it also makes sure the electrodes stay in place during the recording. This is a simple part of the EEG hookup with just a quick squish of the electrode onto your head and a soft cotton ball covering for some extra protection. But you will still need to lay still on the bed because if you try to get up at this point, all of the electrodes would fall off. Once everything is on and the recording is started, parents may hold their children in their labs, so long as the electrodes stay intact. With some patients, cooperation for an outpatient hookup is more difficult. Kids under the age of five may have this very common reaction to the hookup process. They do not understand what is being asked of them and may become upset and struggle. In these cases, a patient can be held still for the hookup or even swaddled for the electrode measurement and placement if need be. Over the age of five, we cannot restrain or hold patients down. In these cases, maybe a different type of EEG would be more appropriate for your child. Once all of the electrodes are on your head, we want to make sure that they're for the entire test. We will wrap your head with a gauze wrap so you don't have to worry about them coming off when you fall asleep. Lastly, the tech will apply three electrodes to your shoulder area. These will record your heart and muscle activities throughout the recording. We are now ready to start. During your EEG, it is important that you stay calm, relaxed, and as still as possible. This is important so that the recording is clean and interpretable for the doctor or epileptologist who will read the study. Sometimes your tech may ask you to relax or lay still if you are moving too much to get an accurate recording. During the EEG recording, the tech will have you perform some activities that help us in collecting as much data as possible. These activities are known as activation exercises 
and consist of a series of flashing lights called photic and a deep breathing exercise. After these activation exercises, it is time for one of the most important parts of your EEG, the sleep portion. To make it as easy as possible for you to sleep, the tech will get you a pillow and a blanket and turn off the lights in the room. We will stay in the room with you the entire time if you need anything. Once the sleep portion of the test is complete, it's time to turn on the lights, wake you up, and end the recording. After the EEG is complete, the tech will get you all cleaned up with some warm water and then dry your hair off and send you on your way. The tech will also provide you with a post-EEG information sheet that has answers to frequently asked questions, including how you will receive the results of your EEG. You may Absolutely. have a bit of a bad hair day, but a quick shower or bath with warm water and your regular shampoo your will remove go. any remaining paste. From all of the EG Techs at Seattle Children's Hospital, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon.